Welcome back to the Packet Lab. Today we're going to take a look at exec timeout. So as always, we should define what we're going to be looking at. And so what is exec timeout? Well, to understand that, you have to understand how you access your Cisco device. Your Cisco device is going to have a number of lines that are available for access. The common ones are the VTY lines. That's what you're connecting to remotely. That's uh, where your terminal emulator connects. Uh, also, the console port is actually a line. So your, your line console 0 is your console port on the back of your router as is your auxiliary port. Most of the time you're going to be connecting remotely through one of the VTY lines. And once you've completed your session, your terminal emulation session, you're going to want to log out and you can use the exit or log out command or LO will actually do the same thing. And when you do that, iOS usually will clear that line up so that other users can access it. And it's important to understand that you have a finite number of lines. So you only have one console port obviously and one auxiliary port. But the VTY lines, the number of VTY lines depends on the platform form an iOS version. With most routers it's 0 through 4 so you have 5 VTY lines available. With switches I think it's 0 through 15 so you can have up to 16 and again you know you might get into other platforms or even iOS versions that give you more or less VTY lines. Since the VTY lines are usually what you're going to be accessing a uh, Cisco device through, it's pretty important that when you're done with your session that you're able to log out and make that line available for the next user because say you have uh, five lines, you know, zero through four. Once those five lines are occupied, that next user, that sixth user that tries to access the device, they're going to be denied until one of those lines comes free. And usually when you log out, it's a clean logout and that line clears up. Uh, there's another lesson that'll go over clearing a line because even when you log out quote unquote gracefully or correctly, sometimes iOS doesn't clear it. But what you want is you want a mechanism that when a user isn't using the line, if he forgets to log out, you know, if he goes away for the weekend and he's didn't close this terminal session or didn't issue the logout command, you want a mechanism that's going to go ahead and automatically log them out so that you can clear up, like I said, that finite number of lines. And that's where the exec timeout comes into play. This slide is directly from the Cisco documentation for the exec timeout command. I don't think I mentioned it on here, but it is important to note that this command is issued under the line configuration. It is not a global configuration command. You can't issue in global configuration mode exec timeout, you know, 20 minutes. Uh, the good thing is that by default it is enabled on all your lines, that's your auxiliary line, console line, VTY lines, and it is by default set to 10 minutes. And that's a good feature and something that if you're taking a certification exam you probably want to commit to memory. So the command structure is pretty easy. You go under your line, let's say in this case a console line, you'd issue line con zero and then exec timeout. There is a hyphen there, make sure you include that. And then you set it in minutes and seconds. Seconds is optional, so you could just say exec timeout three and that would be three minutes. If you wanted to set it to three minutes and 12 seconds for whatever reason, then you would configure exec timeout three space 12. We will see a little bit later on that the second setting is a little bit goofy, but I'll touch on that when we get to it. Down here it says, if no input is detected during the interval, the exec facility resumes the current connection. If no connections exist, the exec facility returns the terminal to the idle state and disconnects the incoming session. I don't know if you understood that. I sure as hell didn't understand it. Doesn't make much sense to me. That is Cisco ease for if the user doesn't type something within a certain amount of time, which I will define, then the router is going to kick his sorry ass off that line and clear up that line for other users. Before we get to the configuration examples, there's a couple things you want to understand about exec timeout. This really should have been called the idle timer, and in the verification commands, it'll actually say exec idle I believe. The important thing to know this is an idle timer and not an absolute timer. So if you set the exec timeout to 10 minutes and the user goes 9 minutes and 59 seconds without entering anything, if at that last second before it expires he hits, uh, I don't know if the space bar works, but just say he types a character, that's going to reset that timer. So then he's going to have another 10 minutes in which he just has to send a single character. Whereas an absolute timer would be, you know, from the time that you log in, you have 10 minutes to do all your configuration, then I'm going to log you out. So don't confuse those two. Those are two different commands. I'll cover the absolute timeout command in a different lesson. The second point is that exec timeout 00 is special. Now, you can mess with your coworkers and really screw up <laughs> access to a router if you choose. 
Uh, unfortunately, you can't use exec timeout 00. So looking at the command structure, you would think that you're setting the executive timeout to 0 minutes and 0 seconds. And that would mean that as soon as you logged in, you get logged right back off. Uh, actually, what you're doing when you set it to 0 minutes and 0 seconds is you're disabling it. So you're making the exec timeout basically infinite. So it does something completely different than what you might think it's going to do. And no exec timeout, you can use that as well. They're synonymous commands. If you issue the no exec timeout, then it'll actually show up in the running config as exec timeout 00. But don't despair. If you want to fuck with your coworkers, you can just set the timeout to one second, which is actually kind of funny because they will log in and unless they can click a character within one second, which they generally won't do unless they're looking for it, it will uh, log them out. Of course, don't do that in your production environment unless you are good friends with your boss or you have naked pictures of him because that can be a career limiting decision. The final point is that there's a goofy time range for this command. You would think that, you know, exec timeout, uh, the first option is minutes and that would be, you know, zero through whatever the upper limit is. And the second option being seconds would be zero which would be redundant uh, through 59 but it doesn't it has like zero through some other crazy ass high number you can configure the exact timeout for the same amount of time with two different inputs you could say exec timeout one minute and 30 seconds and that would be the same as exec timeout 0 90 because there are 90 seconds in one minute and 30 seconds Keep that in mind. It's not really going to affect you too much in the real world, but keep it in mind for uh, Cisco certification exams because this would be something that they would use as a uh, trick question. Okay, and here we can see the configuration. Uh, you could go into the VTY line or the auxiliary line, but in this case, we're going to use the console line. Issue the exact timeout, and you can see that you could set up to 35,000 minutes. I'm not sure how long that is, but it's a buttload of time. And then after you enter the number of minutes, in this case, I've chosen zero. This is where I said it has a goofy range. You can go up to 214,000 oh no that's 2 million whatever an ass load of seconds so I'd be willing to bet that if you multiplied this number this 35,000 number by 60 it would probably equal this upper range I don't know why they did that but anyways in this case I've set it to you 59 seconds and so that would be you know just one second less than a minute obviously uh, here I just wanted to show you that if you set the time to 90 seconds it will actually show up in the running configuration as one minute and 30 seconds so regardless of which way you entered this if it says you know set the exact timeout to one minute and 30 seconds you actually have two options you could do it 0 90 or 130 it's just going to show up in the running configuration as one minute and 30 seconds and finally I just want to show you that no exact timeout that is a legitimate command and what that will do is actually set the exact timeout to zero minutes and zero seconds and just to hammer home a reminder this actually disables the exact timeout so it's basically you could just scooch those guys together and make the uh, number eight on its side infinite sign as a stupid method to remember this for the exam but this is basically disabling the exact timeout there's uh, two commands for verification really they're kind of the same command just a little bit different I'll highlight the differences in a couple of slides here but basically you're gonna do a show terminal or a show line and then specify the line and it'll give you the same output here but it gives you a bunch of output see I've even stopped the output here what you're looking for is this bit here where it says timeouts and the exec timeout is actually under the idle exec column I guess for lack of a better word here and here we can see it's set to never so that means that we've disabled it so our exec timeout would be um, zero zero okay and then the second command which is kind of just a variation on the first command is do a show line but then you have to specify a line I'll hit this in the next slide but the difference is, is that when you do a show terminal it's gonna show you the terminal settings for the line that you're currently connected on so if you want to see other lines in this case I wanted to see this VTY line so I did show line 66 it's not showing me the console line connections it showed me the VTY line output and that's kind of important because you can set different exec timeouts for different lines. You could have one for your console line. Hell, you could have five different ones for each of your VTY lines. But it's still going to be in the same area here. You're looking for the timeouts. And in this case, we could see it's set to 10 minutes, which is the default. And this just goes over what I just said. Uh, show terminal will show you the terminal settings for the line you're currently connected on, while show line X will show you the terminal settings for a specific line. Uh, to reduce the amount of output, you can grep with the pipe section 
timeouts or pipe begin timeout. I prefer pipe section. Uh, not all iOS code recognizes this, so you can use begin. The difference is that section is going to grab you just this bit here, whereas begin will start the output from timeouts, and you'll still have some stuff under there. But either one of them will work to minimize the uh, output that you get and just get you right to the information that you want. So in this case, using the show terminal section timeouts, I just get this stuff. And here again, we can see that it's disabled.